Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please leave me a comment in the comment section, and I will get to your bottles. I promise at some point. Right now, we are still, well, we got sound bearing foam now, or sound deadening foam on the uh, ceiling as I'm looking up at it. Um, and uh, little by little, it's getting better. Uh, working on the studio. Um, I'm hoping to get rid of these stupid mics that are like driving me crazy. Hopefully soon. In the meantime, uh, we have bottles literally everywhere. So uh, getting your actual bottle on the show is um, still a little rough. We're getting there though. Um, but tonight's bottle, um, I snuck it in from the house so the guys don't know what they're drinking. It's gonna be Smoke Wagon. It's straight bourbon whiskey out of Las Vegas and it is 92 proof. But I saw the bottle and I was like, I haven't seen this yet. So uh, Kyle must be buying bottles again. Um, haven't seen it and I don't think I've had it. But with that, if you haven't watched your show before, guys are gonna drink whiskey or bourbon or rye, uh, whatever you guys usually wanna see. Um, and then they're gonna taste it without knowing what's in their glass. They're gonna give you a dollar amount that they're willing to pay and tell you um, what they think of it. So we will pour these out. If you like what you see tonight, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you love us, go on over to Patreon. Go see what we got over there. Uh, find us in the nation, uh, Bourbon Blind Nation, um, on Facebook. And Friday nights, we go live. Unless we're too busy picking bottles or uh, trying to recover. Um, but with that, uh, I'm going to go get the guys. We'll see what they think of Smoke Wagon. Cheers. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Mick. You know what's up. We taste whiskey. We don't know what it is. And we give you a price tag to be willing to pay for a bottle without that hype of the label. So, Mick's here with us. Uh, Mick has actually helped build quite a bit of this. He helped sand down these beautiful table or bar tops. He helped me install a bunch of ceiling tiles, um, sound, soundproof ceiling or sound absorbing ceiling tiles. Um, He's, he's helped out with a ton around here, and I, I just want to say thank you, sir. You're welcome, Carl. I've enjoyed it. Absolutely. It's been a fun adventure. Uh, and as you guys can see, it, it is coming along. Um, we've got primer down here now. Going to be cabinets eventually, but uh, should be less echo now. We still have the mics in the shop because there is still some because we have essentially four bare walls. Uh, but it is a lot better in here now. So, oh, it's a lot better. Yeah, it really is. So, um, but yeah, get a little more dead in here. So, uh, we got some whiskey here. I think uh, we should go ahead and give it a whirl. Ooh, I and, think that's uh, what we're here for. I, I like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a secret by now, but... More is better. More... Until you start looking around going, what the hell have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm liking that. Caramel apple, right off the bat. Right on. Cool. Ah, oh, let's get so much vanilla and caramel. And Fruit, a little bit of floral. Quite a bit of fruit in there, like summer fruit. Yes. Like the, the light, yes. the light summer fruit in there. It smells like it's got a decent proof on it. It's got a great color. The legs don't even hardly run. They they just hang it out for the most part. Um and it's it's got a little bit of everything in there. I even get a like a little bit of oak. Might even be a little apricot in there. I could definitely see apricot. Mm. 
that pear, apple y. Yes. Like, yes. Mmm. I like that. And it's like crisp type fruit. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get in here. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Let's do this. Cheers, guys. Oh, man. That's good. That is really good. Long finish. It's got definitely more of that fruit, caramel, vanilla, apple, baking spice, pears, apricots. That baking spice really comes through on the finish. Mm-hmm. And the finish is just hanging out. I could just sniff this all night. <laughs> Oh, it's very good. I have a feeling this is one of those ones that if you let it sit for like 30, 40 minutes, it would just keep keep changing and evolving. And That's right. Like little things keep peeking out at you. Hmm. Get some oak in there. It's not overpowering. Mm -mm. Right in the mid palate, it was a little, a little bit dry just for, just a, for just a yeah. half second and then it went away. That's hot proof. It's not drinking it. Mm -mm. I'd say at least a hundred, but mm -hmm. it doesn't taste much over 110, 115 though. And that's, mm. I still got like all kinds of fruit and baking spices and just, Indeed. you know what I mean? Like a little bit of everything going on in there. I really don't want to add water to it, but... No, but you can see the legs, they're just very slowly going down the glass. It's got some good texture. Way more fruit on the nose. Yep. Did you add some water? I did. I did. Way more fruit on the nose with the water. I almost don't want to. I know, like, I don't, I don't, it's so good. <laughs> mm. Like this really has just a little bit of everything, like all those check boxes, you know what I mean? Like just the water did not hurt the nose at all. No, it brought, for me, it brought out a lot more of the fruity, it did. fruity flavors. The fruity, fruity noses? Fruity, fruity nose. Fruity noses? <laughs> The fruity nose bourbon. The fruity aromas. Oh, aromas. Is delicious. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see what the water did. Very creamy. A little more acidic. It is with the water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little more slightly astringent. Yeah. Just I almost want to say it brought up more of those like oak tannin. It oak did, yes. Kind of, it's definitely uh, the the oak that astringent oak kind of mm -hmm. flavors. So I'm gonna go back in without the water. <laughs> Try and get my my price tag that I'd be willing well, to pay for it. it. It didn't ruin it. No, at all. Mm -mm. Oh, geez. oh man. And that's changed since the first time we tasted it. It has. Like. <laughs> it has. Oh, so oh. you're sitting there building in the glass. And so much now it's just caramel and mm. vanilla. And oh, it's Maybe got a little bit more dark fruit, like a little more plum in there. Like you still get those summer fruits for sure, but very, very faint hint of cinnamon. It's a baking spices. Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, just the mouthfeel on this is it's really good. Yeah. Just super creamy. It's just really creamy. Creamy, oily. Love it. Coat your mouth all the way back in the jowls, just everything. It does coat it. The whole mouthfeel is just 
and the mm. flavor after tasting it it just sits in your mouth and just yeah mm, for sure it's not going anywhere mm -hmm. that's really good i would probably be in this do you have a price in mind yeah i'm thinking 150 160 on this yeah that, that just I was that mouth feeling that finish I was gonna say probably 120, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I'm. For me, there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with this, nothing. You know what I mean? Like as a bourbon, as a whiskey, it's very well made, very well very. put together. I don't know if it's a single barrel or blended, but it's just very, very well done. It's just surrounded. It's not, it is. Nothing just jumps out at you. It's just. So it's got a bit of everything it's, in there. It, like, yeah, it's all, it's all there. You know what I mean? Like, it's got a bit of everything. It's, it's all there. I just wish it was a little more dark. You know okay. what I mean? A little more and cherry, a little more. Yeah, and know, that is a completely yeah. personal, personal preference thing. Mm. You know? Um, yeah, I'm not mad at that one bit. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is almost like on the cognac side of just, you know, it's so balanced and just, mm -hmm. and that just richness. the richness is just, yep. it's actually really, really good. So Mick, really, it really is good. your first time on the show, sir. You okay, get I get the honors. You do. All right. Just a bit of slow reveal. Quick reveal. reveal. Oh, oh, smoke wagon. I have not yes. had that one before. <laughs> okay. And which one is that? It's the... Straight bourbon whiskey. I Smoke think that's. Wagon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Bourbon Miss Morandum. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> I have not tried this one before, but um, I think I will be looking and that for is it. searching that out. Did you see the proof? Wow. Uh, no, I did not. 92. 92? Yes. Okay. And there is that much flavor. A in shit ton of flavor in there. It really for, is for for a night ninety two point five. And there's oh man, they are out of Las Vegas. Uh, I believe that's distilled from MGP, if I'm not mistaken. Um, aged and bottled by Nevada Distilling Company, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, yeah, distilled in Indiana. So. MGP bourbon. Um, I know. I was gonna say. I know their older stuff. They have some uh, single barrel barrel picks and stuff, yep. and those are definitely MGP. Um, but yeah, that is too, and that's that's just fantastic. It is. There's been so much talk Man. about about the um, smoke wagon that I've seen, and I have mm -hmm. not tried one of these. Now I can see what the talk is all about. This is pretty fantastic. It really is, and I think. I think the retail on this is around 40, 50 bucks. Wow. That's, you don't normally get that uh, oily mouth. No, no, you don't. Bourbon. And I've had, I've had some of like a good bit of like the four to five year MGP stuff. And it's not this, it's not this. Like, I'm not saying this, I don't know for sure how old this is. I, I don't. Um, but like I said, I've had a bunch of the four to five year MGP single barrel stuff, and that to me tastes way more. And it could just be the blend. Do you know what the mash bill is? I don't. I know it is an MGP bourbon, but uh, I don't know if it's a high rye mash bill, low rye. Yeah, because I almost thought on the finish there, I was getting something, some sort of rye in there. Rye yeah. flavors, yeah, it's a little bit of spice. Um, but man, <laughs> you guys are knocking it out of the park over there. Smoke wagon, keep. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't know if you guys are planning on starting to distill or you're going to keep going MGP, but two thumbs up. Fantastic. For real. Excellent. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go finish this because, <laughs> damn, that's good. I'm going to pause the while he's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, have at it, man. Damn. Have at it. Oh. Oh. Straight bourbon whiskey. And... With it only being forty six or forty six percent, you don't have to feel bad about having more. That's right. <laughs> Indeed, it's not like those hundred and thirty, hundred and forty proofers that 
Well, sneak up and kick the shit out of you. All right, not like Aaron usually sneak to you. <laughs> so that is really good. Anyway, guys, um, all of our Patreon supporters absolutely love you guys. You made all this happen. Uh, you're continuing to make it happen as we improve it. Um, there's already a bunch of wood and shelving outside to do this wall. And um, there's all, all kinds of stuff that just need more time. Uh, we just did our barrel pick, or two barrel picks, one at New Riff, one at Jay Mattingly. And uh, both of them were a freaking blast. Um, so anyway, though, oh, man. Just so good. It's so good. It really is. <laughs> so, you guys, appreciate all of you. And until next week, cheers. Drink blind. Drink blind. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week. Cheers.